Pallet Town. A beautiful little town with a peaceful populace, poorly groomed lawns, and a very distinct lack of housing. But what's really going on under, underneath, excuse me, but what's really going on underneath the peaceful surface of this town? How is the local economy doing? Well, that's what I'm about to find out today as we do an unemployment survey for Pallet Town. All right, for this survey, I've done myself the favor of actually making a printed employment survey so I can mark that down rather than having chaotic notes inside of a little notebook, so I'm excited about that. After my last employment report for the city of Rifton, the Bureau of Labor Statistics sort of chastised me for A, being generally way too rude and uh, unempathetic to the to the people of Rifton, uh, but B, they said my report was full of holes and all, all over too chaotic, so they said it needed to shape up. Uh, which I think is why they're forcing me to enumerate the entirety of the Canto continent. You know, just a little punitive discipline. Anyway, what's the best way to figure out an employment situation? Well, you know it as well as I do. Uh, we've got to survey every single person in this town. So that's what we're going to do, starting with this child. Hello, child. What do you want to know about the master trainers? Nothing. And honestly, I don't even need to know if you're employed because you're a child and children cannot be employed. Next up, we've got this uh, girl here. She also looks quite... Uh, young. You can't tell Bean that you saw me picking flowers. Who is Bean? Lady, I don't think anybody cares if you're picking flowers. Additionally, you're below the employment age, so nobody cares about you, period. Hello, sir. What is your situation? Technology is incredible. We got a big guy who loves technology. Nothing wrong with that. Now you can connect your smartphone. Okay, so you know all about smartphones. Do you have a job? Hmm. Well, walking around this town, there's really only one place that somebody could work, right? And that's the Oak Pokemon Research Lab. There's not, there's nowhere else because the only other buildings are two houses. So you got a guy standing around talking about his love of technology, definitely not working at the lab. This man is unemployed. Also, where do you live? There's two houses, both of them occupied, and we've got two children and some guy out on the street. Where do you people live? Are you homeless? Is the weather just nice enough that it's not a problem and you can just sleep in the flowers? Is Pokemon a, a utopian society? More on that later. Anyway, let's look inside this house. Hello, ma'am. Mom. I don't know whose mom this is, but I'm from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So I don't know what she's talking about. Now, there's been a lot of argumenting. Arguing is what the word is for that. In the comments, people saying, Hey, if someone's not contributing, it doesn't matter whether they're rich or poor, they should be counted as unemployed. Because in the last video, there were some uh, homeless people that weren't contributing to society, and I was like, these people are unemployed because, you know, learning from modern American capitalism, we're taught to devalue uh, a house, people without houses, you know, people live on a street. But a lot of people argue that if you're a rich person sitting around all day, just because you're sitting in a mansion versus sitting on the street, it doesn't make a difference. If you're not if you don't have a job, you're unemployed. So to those people I say, are you saying this poor woman is unemployed? All she's doing is standing around staring at the wall. She's wearing flip-flops in the house. Is it possible she's married to someone who works at the lab? Let me see your fingers. I don't see a ring. Maybe that's how she affords all this nice furniture, that big 70-inch TV. Ultimately, because we have so little information to go on with these folks, I think the rule set for me is, if they're uh, of perceptibly working age and there's no evidence that they have a job, then they count as unemployed. Sorry, lady. Man, it is not looking good for Pallet Town. All right, who's in this in this little hole? Hello, ma'am. Are you an adult? Kind of. You, you probably look like you could have a job. You look like you might be like 16. Would you like to know how much your Pokemon like you? Sure. How's, how much does my Kakuna like me? All right, so this lady can tell me how much my Pokemon like me. And there's a Pokemon journal here. So there's evidence that perhaps she's like engaged in some sort of Pokemon research. She does look like she could be maybe college age. And she's putting that knowledge to good use. So I think there's evidence here that this person is uh, a student or doing some sort of research. But she didn't ask me for money for that service. So it's likely that it's through maybe an institution or maybe she's trying to learn. Either way, people in school are neither employed nor unemployed. They do not count. All right, that's everybody in the houses and outside, which means there's only one place left. This is a little place called the lab, the only employer in Pallet Town. Oh my God. There's a lot of employment going on in here. I study Pokemon as Oak's assistant. Oh my God. Great work. Congratulations, sir. You, I assume the same. You also study Pokemon as Oak's assistant. Wow. One thing I am curious about is how this guy's like, he's drinking green tea, right? And he's reading these like Pokemon journals or something. This guy's just looking at a plant. 
Which, which on the face of it isn't really employed behavior, but he says he works here, so all right. And what about you? What are you doing? Professor Oak may not look like much, but he's the authority on Pokemon. You're not, you don't have a lab coat on. So the way I see it, there's two possibilities here. Either you work here and you just got better fashion sense than everybody else, or you're some sort of like intern or student, right? I don't know, she's in the lab, she's reading the books, she's near the board. She's probably employed, right? That seems likely. <laughs> And last but certainly not least, the man himself. The lead lab technician, the man with the plan. The only reason that anyone in this city is employed, Professor Oak. Thank you, sir, for running the lab. Now, that's everyone in Palatown itself. However, there is a route up this way uh, that there may be some people on who probably live and you know reside in Palatown. So we're gonna take a look up here quick. First up, little kid. Another homeless child from Palatown. Apparently that's a thing. He's not employed, but he is cute. And then, let's see. Secondly, we got this guy. Oh my God, this guy looks awfully familiar. Now here's the thing about this guy. He's wearing the uniform of the Pokemart. Because I'm very smart, I know that there's not a Pokemart in um, uh, Palatown. I use my skills of observation. But I do know there's a Poke Mart in the next city up, Viridian City. So I think it's probably likely that this person lives and works in Viridian City rather than Palatown. So he doesn't count. Anybody else on the route we have to worry about? Doesn't look like it. Now one more place we can look is down in the lake here, because there are certainly people who like to go swimming. So if there's anybody near to Palatown who seems like they might be from Palatown, we can go take a peek. Oh, we got a fisherman. What's your deal, sir? Oh, this is not gonna be good. I can't believe the, the Bureau of Labor Statistics sent me out here with nothing but a level six Kakuna. Anyway, the question is, is Fisherman Wade employed? The answer is probably yes. The other question is, does Fisherman Wade reside in Palatown? That's hard to say. He could be just sort of itinerant, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and assume he uh, lives in Palatown because we do know there's a lot of kids without parents in Palatown. And we do know that there's nothing dads like doing more than going fishing. So probably he's the father of one of them kids. And he's just out here catching some fish and battling Pokemon trainers. And since battling Pokemon gives you income, the definition of having employment according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics is doing any sort of labor for any sort of income, regardless of whether you make a profit or not. So Fisherman Wade's employed. This guy. Also probably a resident of Palatown, also making money battling Pokemon. That's what you need for employment. Now these two people are trickier because it seems like there are a lot of people in Kanto who are just sort of itinerant, who don't reside anywhere other than on the dusty trail, sort of like cowboys. And all they do is sit around uh, battling Pokemon. So when you're talking to a Pokemon trainer that's like a fisherman or a hiker or some other down to earth, pseudo profession. I feel like those people more than likely live in the towns that they're near. Whereas you've got these people who sort of dedicated their whole life just to being a Pokemon trainer. So it seems less likely that these people actually live in Palatown. So I'm gonna ignore them. If anyone has any problems or arguments with that, post them in the comments and uh, maybe I'll take them into account later. That's the survey of Palatown, which means there's only one other thing to do. Throw it over to the Bureau of Labor Statistics for their full economic situation summary, which you can view right now. <clears throat> Hello folks, how's everybody doing today? Uh, don't mind the noises you hear, they're still finishing up just the renovations for the conference room. Should be a brief press conference today, we're doing a little bit of a smaller unemployment thing. Uh, and a lot of you know we're working at the Bureau, uh, trying to enumerate the entirety of uh, the Kanto region in Pokemon, which is a big undertaking. So we're going uh, city by city. Uh, it's gonna be extremely comprehensive and this is the employment situation summary for the first city, a place called Pallet Town. You can do the, yeah, thank you. Total surface payroll employment for Pallet Town is at six persons and unemployment today is at 25%. That is with the uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, reported today. Palatown is a small municipality in Kanto with a total population of 12 consisting entirely of working age people and children. Uh, the primary employer in the town is a Pokemon research laboratory which has four employees uh, but some residents uh, that don't work at the lab 
choose to try and make money outside the city by battling Pokemon. That's a common, I think it's going to be a common profession that we see as we go around Kanto. Um, there was some discussion amongst us at the Bureau about whether sort of Pokemon training qualifies as employment. Uh, but as most of you know, we have strict definitions of those things here. And the definition of employment is just performing a task uh, in order to make money. And you do make money battling Pokemon, so they do indeed count as employed. Now, the small population of Palatown makes it difficult to draw wide-reaching conclusions, uh, but there are a few key observations that we're going to carry forward as we continue our research. Number one, there's a healthy balance of adults and children. This is not one of those situations like we've had uh, when we were in Skyrim, where you have these entire towns where there's almost no kids and all of them are orphans. Uh, number two, several people in the town do not have a place to live, including multiple children. There's a housing problem, so we're trying to get a sense of exactly how how this is possible and feasible because it's not like these people are destitute they're not uh, sitting on the street starving or, or begging or not that there's anything wrong with that uh, so we're trying to get a sense of, of how that functionally how sort of this continent works economically but I think that'll become clear as we go on and then number three several people in the town don't work or contribute in any way uh, but they still still maintain a very high standard of living so that's also sort of a mystery that we will continue to unpack there's a couple possibilities that the bureau is considering with this uh, one of them is that it, it just seems that canto has a really strong sort of social safety net the exact width of that we remains to be seen uh, but another possibility that we've been discussing amongst ourselves is that that pokemon research laboratory is uh, so successful so profitable that it's actually able to sustain all of Pallet Town on its own accord. Uh, not dissimilar to, if you know your American uh, history, sort of the company towns in early 20th, or early, excuse me, it's been a long day, uh, in early 20th century America. Uh, this unique situation means the that despite the high unemployment figure on paper, Pallet Town probably isn't at risk of any sort of dramatic economic collapse. That said, 25% does put Pallet Town near the bottom of our unemployment list with only Delfino Plaza, another economically unique area having a higher number. This data was collected over one day. It was a pretty quick survey. They will probably get longer as we continue on with this, um, but I believe we'll be bouncing sort of back and forth between this and Skyrim and some other things as we continue to go. So the goal for us here at the Bureau is to enumerate all of Kanto and all of Skyrim in addition to other things. But of course, it's gonna take uh, a lot of time to do that and uh, we'll need your support. Speaking of your support, if you like this video, leave a comment down below saying that you enjoyed it. Uh, that's helpful to me so that I know that I'm making what you want to see because that's what I want to do. Additionally, if you want to support more unemployment statistics or any of our series, you can support me on Patreon. Did you know that in my free time, I make a lot of music. I use that music in all of my videos. So today, uh, I've got a song that I'm going to leave you with. Please enjoy it. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. If you're watching this in the middle of the night, go to bed. It's time. It's time. Just kidding about the kiss. Shut the fuck up, you don't know nothing. 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 Shut the fuck up, you don't know nothing.